we secure results this time round. Uh, this time round, I think we have uh, uh, we have uh, better chances of performing well, uh, because uh, seventy percent of the team have been there before. So we think they can match now with the uh, with the competition, and we hope for better performance this time round. The players that include Nahi Nashimuri, Sajje Serunjoji, Baron Nambale, Zdani Sekamati, and Jensen Van Help are optimistic. I think as a team we're very much prepared. I mean, we've been training these past few weeks in day in, day, day out. Uh, we've been really playing hard and I think that as a team we're ready to hit the London Cup. During their debut appearance, Edgars finished 6th in under 7, 5th in under 9, 6th in under 11 and 4th in under 15. John Barnes sent him. Hello, Namtesa Sira, Uroa. Now, Uganda Athletics Federation is bracing for this weekend's National Athletics Championship, which is expected to attract foreign entries at Mandela National Stadium, as John Barnes Sentiment reports. Mandela National Stadium Nambole will this weekend host the National Athletics Championship, which is a qualifier to the All Africa Games and the World Athletics Championships. And as we speak now, we have 42 athletes that have qualified for all Africa games. We have 28 who have qualified for the World Championships. And on Friday and Saturday, we expect that number to grow. We expect others to qualify. The Federation expects the nation's top athletes, including Lenny Shida, Ronald Musagara, Josephine Lalam, and Pius Adome, to make this championship competitive with various records set. And as I speak now, the national records have been set by nine athletes. And the national records have been broken 15 times since we started this season. This shows you how far we are going. This shows you our good performance. With the many foreign entries expected from Sudan, Kenya and Burundi, the Federation has clarified on rules of engagement. If very many foreigners qualify for finals, we shall only allow two to find. 100 meters, if six uh, foreigners qualify for, 100 meters, uh, for finals, we shall only allow two foreigners in the finals, the ones with the best times. Top performers at this championship expect a cash prize. John Burns, Sentinel, reporter. And in boxing, former professional boxer best in Dubai at the world's top flight gym round of 10, Musa Batantu has paid a courtesy visit to the national boxing team, the Bombers. The team is training at Luzira Prison Sports Center ahead of the All Africa Boxing Championship, which is due on the 19th of August, this very year in Morocco. The national boxing team, the Bombers, are due to compete in the All Africa Games to be held in Rabat, Morocco. The fighters who are in camp at Ruzira Prison Sports Arena received from a professional boxer, Musa Batantu, who is in the country to inspire the Bombers and pass on professional tactics to the youngsters as they prepare for the continental tie. Batantu was impressed with the talent the young lads showcased as he took them through the paces. Okay, it's just liking, they are lacking some speed, a little bit of uh, techniques, but they're okay, they are fit. Uh, I'm here to just to, to add more on tr uh, strengths. They are a little bit weak, no power, so they need to work hard on, uh, on their power. Even the big guys, they feel like when you do sparring with them, they are weak, but inshallah, with time, they'll be strong. That's the style we have. Hit and don't get hit. Yeah, so the style I'm giving them now is to avoid someone to touch you. You know, it's like jab, slip, hook, jab, slip, straight, because this is the style uh, they're going to do in Morocco. Sadil Musa, Bomba's captain, explained that the visit from the former Bomba gives morale to the Bomba's in camp. Came to give us some tips and techniques of international levels because he's a coach, he's an international coach. Uh, he's here to give us advice and techniques 
we are happy for that and we are happy for him to come back home. Uh, and according to the performance, the guys, as you see, the boxers are very ready and they're in shape. Other bombers share their views on Batanto's visit and how prepared they are for the challenge. Going on and they are doing well. Because I think these guys who have come here, Batanto Musa, yeah, they are giving us some techniques and styles of boxing. Yeah, so everything is just going good. Ah, we are getting what the coach told us. Because like right now they are showing technique, the skill, how you bob, how you lock, block. No? Yeah, we are doing well. I'm telling you that we are going to come back with medals. We are going, back with, we are going to come back with gold medals in all African games. And I'm requesting every Ugandan to pray for us whether we, wherever we are going. Kabgo Samuel, Bomba's coach, said the players will bring medals home. Uh, matching up to our expectations um, with their fitness level, they are getting to where we wanted them. I have already met the, the, the requirements in terms of fitness, so we expect by the end of the, of the campaign, Everything will be good and we hope, we expect to get a, a fair, fair results from, from our training and everything. So far 25 players are in camp and hoping to make the final cut in the last national boxing trials due 7th August this year at Lugogo MTN Arena. For UBC, Helen Barbara, Gizamba. <laughs> Thank you so much for choosing UBC TV and News Tonight in that particular. And before we end the bulletin, let's have a recap on our headlines. Chargers on killers of mobile money vendors. The national airliner will not begin flights this month. On the international scene, EU suspends migration control programs in Sudan. And in sports, government will address funding to sports. Again, that's it from us. My name is Patricia Lokoma and from the entire news team, together with Mogalo Mohammed there on sign language, it has been a pleasure. UBC continues after this. For now, it's a good night. Was brought to you by UCC, celebrating 20 years of achievements.